A man says this unmarked speed bump in Somerville caused hundreds of dollars in damage to his car. Good evening and thanks for staying with us. I'm Paula Evan. I'm Lisa Hughes. Chris has the evening off. The Somerville man says he was going the speed limit just 20 miles an hour when he went over that unmarked bump. And as WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us, he wants the city to make changes before it affects anyone else. A vintage store oozes with nostalgia trips down memory lane. Dun, 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 dun. We are going to take one with store owner Andrew Wiley. We're in high energy vintage in Somerville, Massachusetts. Only our story doesn't begin here. It starts on Kidder Avenue. I'd say probably about a mile and a half away. That's where he was driving a year ago. Going about 20 miles an hour, which is the speed limit, and all of a sudden, crunch. He hit a dark, unmarked speed hump at night. My car bottomed out and it, it sort of like damaged some part of the exhaust. It like disconnected the, the exhaust. It cost $1,600 to fix. I was on my way to pick up some snorkeling gear because I was heading to Puerto Rico. While on the island, he snapped this picture. They had speed bumps that were really well marked and this was an island with a population of, of 1,200 people. Leaving Wiley to ponder what is going on in Somerville. He called 311 to alert the city, but he never filed a claim. There are bumps on Kidder that remain unmarked, and drivers keep hitting them fast. I'd say that the bumps are unmarked fairly often. It, it seems like some of them might have like some, some tape on them sometimes, and then it gets like worn away. So how is a speed bump supposed to look? Well, like this, with lines that indicate to slow down. And, and I guess they're just not coming up with another plan, like paint. Let's rewind that back. The city does have a plan, but it's weather dependent. All speed humps installed in the summer get permanent striping and warning signs. Those humps in the winter get temporary striping. DPW saying striping doesn't adhere properly in the cold. Their contractors expect to have permanent markings complete in Somerville by the end of May. And I think they always say don't try to fight City Hall, so I was just like, well, I'm just going to not drive down that road again <laughs> at night. At least not until it gets painted. In Somerville, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.